What is going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome back to another post commentary duel video. I know it's been quite a while since the last one. And uh yeah, but we have uh Photon Galaxy versus Shadal Trains. This is the uh new and updated uh build of Shadal Trains. Although I do want to mention that this duel was recorded probably about a week and a half ago. Um I've been kind of backed up on sort of getting these videos edited, been busy with tons of other things of late as of late and uh, just now getting to edit these videos uh, for you guys. But I do have uh, plans for other uh, videos to go up soon. We're gonna be getting Spellbook Endymion deck profile, uh, updated Photon Galaxy deck profile perhaps soon. Uh, we did get some new support in uh, the uh, dual power set uh, via Photon Advancer. And I do have a build pretty much 100% uh, as of right now. Uh, I don't know if I'll do an updated profile. Maybe I'll get an updated test hand video for you guys out there just to see how the deck is running currently. Uh, things of that nature. And uh, also the updated train deck here on the left featuring some new support from Infinity Chasers. Uh, mainly just some Infinitrack cards that are in the main deck that work really, really well uh, with the train strategy. Mainly just the Infinitrack uh, Anchor Drill or Drill Anchor, whatever its TCG name uh, ended up being. Uh, it's just a it's not um, you know overly powerful it's just a really good extender for the deck and it's one of the I think the only infinite tracks that plays very very well into the strategies of uh, should all trains for the others I haven't given too much testing thought with um, or you know just practical use with I just feel as though they don't work too well I've tried harvester and tunneler um, you know all you know tunneler harvester and anchor all together don't really seem to fit too well especially in a train mode things start to get a little clunky uh, so you see over there on the photon side of things uh, that's a blank card that proxy is supposed to be a copy of photon advancer which is a new card from dual power that says you can special on this card if you control a photon monster and while you control photon monster it gains a thousand attack so um, I believe it comes out at a thousand attack or two thousand two thousand I think it gains a thousand attack and defense while you control photon monster um, but the thing about advancer is it's a nice extender versus thrasher uh, especially when you have a card like Vanisher on the field already. You don't have to worry about, you know, committing that first play to your Thrasher. You can do it mid-combo and use it as link material as you saw there. Uh, so he went into uh, the Cyber Dragon Infinity. And I believe off that Soul Flare summon, he ended up adding uh, adding back the Galaxy Eyes. So his Soul Flare could be live. Um, he was going to add back Orbital, uh, but instead swap targets for a Galaxy Eyes instead. Um, and I'm actually piloting Shadal Trains. Uh, my brother's one of his actually first first few times, one of them, uh, playing in the uh, Photon Galaxy uh, realm. It's a very, very fun deck, and I still recommend this deck to anybody uh, who hasn't played it yet. It's such a fantastic deck all around. If you're looking for something that's relatively competitive, budget-friendly for the most part, I know Orbital's still a little pricey. I highly recommend you guys uh, looking into Photon Galaxy or checking out some of my streams where I play the deck. Always a fun time playing it. Um, but now, after you saw it, pass it back to me. Uh, I had the urgent schedule. That, of course, gets negated by the Infinity. I don't forget to detach there uh, for the Infinity. It's not too big of a deal, though. The Shadal Fusion, however, gets to go through uh, afterwards. So I sort of baited out that Infinity. Only really having one interruption right now instead of the usual triple threat board, uh, which consists of number 90, Infinity, Sulfur, with the loaded Galaxy Eyes in hand. Uh, although I do get to follow up here with the Shadal Fusion, of course, sending not the Ruffian Rail card, but Express Bullet Liner along with Shadal Beast to get that extra draw. Wanted to send Bullet Liner specifically so I could reborn it back with that Pegasus. And you see me there using the Anchor Drill, that new Infinitrack monster, to spec the uh, Railroad Stampede from my hand, allowing that to special summon the uh, Bullet Liner from my graveyard. So I sort of have an extra layer of plays that I can make contemplating here do I want to go into a link 2 first then into a rank 10 or is that a little bit too much of an overextension and can I just win the game this turn although keep in mind I still have to worry about this soul flare that he has and if I don't go into number 81 uh, you know super uh, rail cannon dreadnought Dora um, the one that can protect any card in the field from card effects except for its own uh, I will just lose let's say if I go into Gustav Max right now I would just lose it to the soul flare which is uh Something that would, uh, you know, not do me too much. Also, one thing I want to mention, Imperium Duelist guys, you know, we are sponsored by them. 
does have two brand new limited edition playmats. Uh, one is the Thunderstorm playmat, which I'll put a picture up on the screen. Um, and the Ring of Fire playmat. Two limited run playmats right now on their uh, website, which is down in the description below. And you can use that discount code to get 10% off. They actually were kind enough to send me that Thunderstorm playmat, which I'll be showing off in future videos. Um, I would have showed it off in this duel, but this duel was recorded uh, probably a little bit before they I received the uh, mat in the mail. So unfortunately, you guys don't get to see it in this video, but it will be in pretty much all uh, future videos. Um, except for the other duel that I'll be posting that uh, was made before I had that playmat. As well as some of the new dice they sent me. and They're really, really awesome dice. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. So don't forget to check out Imperium Duelist as well. But as you saw there, number 81 cleaning up that Infinity no problem. Of course, I could have ran over the Soul Flare. Um, but uh, the Infinity will prove to be a much bigger problem if I leave that on the field. Now, he did try to Soul Flare uh, one of my cards, uh, the Bullet Liner. Um, but I decided to save it with the number 81. Um, not really sure why I did that. That was sort of, uh, you know, not the best idea on my part, but it will allow me to detach the shack, getting back a Shadal Fusion, which I can use for next turn. He does have a very clutch monster reborn, tries to go for the Infinity Play to absorb uh, my number 81. Of course, I have to chain number 81 in response to make it unaffected, so he can no longer, uh, you know, absorb it and take it, and I just lose a big 3200 beater. Uh, so I link now the bullet liner and the 81 into a Clifford Genius, activate uh, a Shadal Fusion here, since he, of course he does still control that Soul Flare, so it'd be like a Foolish Barrel from deck. He has the Tachyon Transmigration, which negates the activation of a Monster Spell or Trap Effect, anything uh, you know, uh, prior to it in that chain, and shuffles any card in the field back into the deck. So Tachyon Transmigration is better than just your average negate an activation counter trap. It can negate whole chain links. Uh, if you time it right, especially against decks like Salmon Great. But luckily for me, I had a second copy of the uh, Shadal Fusion in my hand. Now, Shadal Fusion is a hard once per turn, but the thing is, since the effect or the activation itself of Shadal Fusion was negated by Tachyon Transmigration, I'm actually able to activate another copy since the first activation was unsuccessful. Same thing if my Shadal Fusion would be uh, met with a Solemn Warning. I could still activate the other one because I te technically never got to activate it in the first place because that set activation was negated, thus allowing me to go into a shack and then normal summoning my Night Express Knight, as you see there, going to Gustav Max, burning for another 2k, and then following up with Juggernaut Leap here to uh, basically finish him off for an extra, you know, that's 6,000 attacking over two monsters. That's over, uh, you know, it's 4,000 over Soul Flare and uh, 3,900 over that Infinity. So it's definitely going to be game there. Um, it's a surprising outcome there for Shadal Trains. Uh, can be a fragile strategy when having, especially a deck like Photons, um, being able to put up, you know, pretty consistent triple negate boards, uh, triple interruptions, I should say. Usually Infinity number 90 Soul Flare is the perfect scenario. Even a fourth negation, if you get lucky and draw into one of the three Tachyon Transmigrations, I've actually bumped that card up to three cents the last update because I just, the card is just very, very easy to make live and it's such a, like, really, really strong card against some decks like Salomon Great. Um, that, that card can just be a pretty much game under against Salmon Great when they go Baylinks into Gazelle or any sort of combo like that. You just negate both the Baylinks and the Gazelle and then shuffle the Baylinks back into the deck and you're just good to go. Pot of Desires is met with an Ash Blossom here, so he's missing out on two draws. Has to trade in one of the Galaxy Knights for, you know, a nice little draw there. Goes into a Photon Sanctuary, basically a free Soul Flare. Now, he can add back that Galaxy Knight off of Soul Flare, but I don't think he ends up doing that. I think he actually wants to keep this Galaxy Knight in his grave. So, opts to normal summon Galaxy Knight and then uses Galaxy Zero to bring back the other Knight in his grave, hence why he left it in the graveyard. And, uh, despite having a, um, uh, a Desires Negate it in what looks like, you know, not the best opening field, or opening hand, I should say, uh, is able to end still number 90 soul flare no infinity unfortunately uh, who knows he might have been able to draw an orbital or a soldier off of that desires that was ashed but nonetheless still able to end on soul flare in number 90 which is still a pretty solid board no triple threat board here unfortunately 
but a pretty good one nonetheless. Basically a Dryden under Soul Flare and, uh, you know, a monster negation via the number 90. And he also gets to search a card, which I believe he ends up adding or has already added the Photon Sanctuary off of number 90 because it also gets you a search of any Photon or Galaxy card during your opponent's turn. Um, and, you know, on top of its already good effect. And, you know, one thing to take note here as well, he doesn't have a Photon card underneath uh, the number 90, so he can't actually uh, protect it from destruction like from a card like Derecrane. So there he goes and negates the Derecrane effect from hand uh, on the resolution of the urgent schedule just to get that card out of the equation. I resolve a pot of desires of my own here uh, to try to draw into some more pieces because right now... I don't have any way to get into a rank 10 train, uh, although I haven't used my normal summon. Now, I go for Pegasus here to try to revive this Derek Crane again for the second time to get it out on the field. And of course, Soul Flare comes in now with that destruction, discarding the one Galaxy Eyes. Now here I use the uh, Pegasus effect to target the railroad, uh, you know, the Bullet Express. We go into Gustav Max here for the 2,000 burn. He has two monsters in attack position, both at 2,000 attacks. It'll be 4,000 over each, and that's game uh, by a lot. So, uh, should all trains actually taking a 2-0 win there? Now, if he would have put that or that Vanisher in defense mode, probably wouldn't have been game. But just one of those things that uh, if you slip up just by leaving one monster in the wrong uh, position, could cost you the game, especially against a deck like uh, should all train. So. Um, I highly recommend you guys checking out uh, Photons and Trains. There's just two like really awesome decks uh, that I I'm really glad to own and play. Uh, they're just super fun. Uh, they might be lower tier, but they still uh, definitely pack quite a punch in the right hands for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. A uh, quick reminder to join Discord. Follow me on Twitch or Facebook and Twitter for updates. If you haven't done so already, also check out Imperium Duelist if you're looking for a new playmat. They've got two brand new limited run playmats, the Thunderstorm playmat and the Ring of Fire playmat as well. Like I said, I'll be showing that Thunderstorm playmat off in the uh, in future videos as well. I'll show you guys that beautiful playmat. It's really, really awesome. Actually might be one of my favorites. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. So always Winter Kill signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one.